Hi everyone, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all enjoy your Thanksgiving. I'm here to do a reading on the virus and the timeline for the virus. So I don't know if necessarily Spirit is going to give us a timeline or when it's going to be over, but we will we'll see what Spirit has to say. Thank you all for being here. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button and hit all notifications so you'll get all notifications every time I go live or upload a brand new video because I will post this on YouTube later. This is a Instagram live stream, so make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitch, as well as my Vimeo at Lamar Townsend Tarot. If you would like a reading from me, because I am available for readings, I am a psychic, an energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. So if you would like a psychic reading, a tarot reading, an astrology birth chart reading, I also make bracelets and I do make scarves as well. I sew scarves. So if you would be interested in any of those things, check out my website. I also do candles, lamartownsendtarot.com. And that's it, I think. Thank you all for being here. Hi, everybody in the room. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I'm going to do a reading on the virus and the timeline of the virus. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and burn some sage. By the way, for some reason I thought Thanksgiving was on the 28th. Thank you for cleansing it. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the space from any past readings. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on the virus and the timeline for the virus. Thank you for being my mouthpiece, Father God. Thank you for speaking through me. Thank you for protecting the energies, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. Thank you for just allowing me to see the truth in Jesus' name. Thank you for protecting the energy um, of me. Thank you for also... Um, Cleansing and clearing the energy of the stack many past reading in Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Hi, Mona Nicole Boutique. How are you? The link to my website I'm gonna pin in the um it's also on my um my Instagram profile. So okay. Let's get into the reading. What is the timeline of the virus? Let's see. I get something about April. Something around like April, May, March, April, May. Maybe sometime around that time. Why is Fonzie just staring at me? He's so like weird and annoying. <clears throat> He's so annoying. Okay. Sorry, I get something about, like, um, April. Something about April. This could be... I feel like... It's either going to be April of 2021 or April of 2022. I feel like, um... Things get better. I don't know if necessarily the virus goes away, but things get better around springtime, I'll say. I, which is ironic because springtime is the time usually when allergies flare up and stuff like that you know so but i see something about that like things will get better around springtime um i feel like there's gonna be some like products on the on the market like in, in the the drug stores that we can buy that like eventually like may even say on it like protects you or kills the the you know the covid or you know kills the the virus it's like there's something like that where I think that it's really, the virus is really, you know, coronavirus has really changed or will change, like, the world, basically, you know, like, and I feel like there's going to be something, and I see a nasal spray, so there's going to be something in the markets where it says, like, I wouldn't be surprised if around 2021 or 2022, if you, like, go into Walgreens, there's, like, products that says kills coronavirus on impact like something like that you know or kills you know something related to the virus i feel like um so i get within the next two years things will get back to normal or will you know start to get better all right i don't think once again it's going to go away necessarily we're probably going to be wearing masks within the next two years. Definitely 2021. I feel like masks are still going to be a big thing. 
Um, but 2022, I feel like once again, and maybe that's where the April thing comes in. Like it, maybe there's something about April of 2021 and April of 2022, where maybe by then of 2022, the masks are less prevalent. We can finally, you know, take them off, you know, breathe again, blah, blah, blah. So I do get something like that. I feel like within the next two years, we're going to see strides. Like, you know, it's like, you know, each year also it, it lessens, you know, it becomes less of a nuisance. It becomes less of a big thing. So it's like next year, it's, you know, still a thing. The year after that, it's less of a thing, but still a thing, you know, in the year after that, you know, it's like, that's what I get. I feel like with throughout the next decade, we're going to hear little flare ups here and there. But I feel like as the decade goes on, like by 2025, I don't know if the virus, coronavirus, COVID is going to be like a big thing anymore. I don't know. It's going to be something of the past. You know, it's kind of like, oh, we we got through that. Thank God, you know, let's prepare for possibly something new that could pop up because we don't want to go through that again ever. You know, like that's what I get. So I feel like there's going to be new studies that come from the virus as well, like how to prevent this from happening, you know, because I feel like it's going to dec I hear decimate. I feel like it either has, will, both decimated the economy and the government. So, that's what I feel. Um, it's kind of like the modern day version of the plague, really. Um, I feel like there will still, unfortunately, be, be people that will be lost due to the virus within the next two years. But once again, as the year goes on, it will lessen more and more. The people that actually pass away from it. But once again, I think the people that pass away from it have already preconditioned health issues, possibly. And I've said that before, right? <clears throat> I see something about the kids and vaccines. So I don't know why I feel like like if schools are starting again, they may like not necessarily they may require kids to take the vaccine in certain areas. I don't know if they can do this worldwide or countrywide, you know, but I do feel like there's something about um vaccines being needed especially in large large concentrations of people where there's large concentrations of people which would be school um but i feel like schools are going to be socially distanced now that's what i get hi florian how are you masks forever no i don't think we'll be wearing masks forever i mean in certain areas yes but I think masks are just going to be the new thing. People are going to be wearing masks when they feel like they need to be wearing masks. I mean, that's just going to be a thing, you know, for the next decade. So I would get used to that. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. Hey, thank you for being here. So um, that's what I get. I feel like travel will be back to normal by... 20 I get 2024 2023 at the earliest and when I say travel I mean like planes long distance travel borders opening up again you, I want to you know randomly take a trip you know to I don't know um you know Australia or you know, uh Miami you know Canada and I can actually do that and not worry about, you know, restrictions and stuff like that. I see something about 2023, 2024, definitely by 2025. So midway through the decade, which is unfortunate because you also have to think a lot of these like companies are also it's going to take them time to come back from the losses they've you know experienced when it comes to their income, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it, it's it's deeper. That's why it's going to take so long. OK. I actually feel like I'll continue to wear a mask. I do feel safe with them on. See? I think eventually, Matt... Hey, Sean for POTUS. Thank you for calling me beautiful. I think... I think... When can I go to the movies again? Um... I feel like movies will probably be back to normal by... 
maybe by next year. Although I think people are going to feel unsafe going to the movies next year. So by 2022, it'll be normal to go to the movies probably. So anyway, um, but yeah, I think eventually masks are going to become a thing where it's like you, you can wear your mask if you want, but you also don't have to wear your mask if you don't want to necessarily. But I think it may be something also where like if it's sick, if you're sick, wear your mask, you know, no matter which, if it's a cold, this or that. So there's something like that, that could be like a thing, right? Anyway. Or maybe if you're sick, just stay home, right? <laughs> anyway. Um, I do get something, and I don't know if this is associated with the virus, but I get something about, like, something in water. So I don't know if this is after the virus has kind of, like, faded away, it's become less of a thing, and then something new comes up. Do you guys remember when, like, those people were traveling to, I forgot where they were going to, was it Costa Rica or I forgot, or I don't know, but, like, they, like, were getting sick from drinking and dying, but we found out that they were putting something in the drinks, actually, that, like, I don't know what it was, but it, like, wasn't good. I think it's, like, I don't know if it's something like that, but it's something, like, where maybe, like, drinking water gets tampered with, not, well, it could be tampered with, or it gets, like... I hear something about dirty water. Dominican Republic, yes. I like feel something about dirty water. I don't know if this is a global thing, a statewide thing. Like, I hear something about that. But I don't, like, I feel like it's kind of contagious. Like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know. They were poisoning the water. Yeah. I'm getting something similar to that, but it feels like it starts off, I think it starts from people traveling, actually. Whatever this is, whatever this new thing is, I don't know, but it's like something. I see something about that. So I would be careful when drinking water, like, especially, like, contaminated water, that's what it is, contaminated water. Corona in the water, maybe. Maybe. Or it could be just something new. So... I believe in filtered water. I have filter. I have filter, a filter on my kitchen sink, so I just use that. You know, I stopped even buying bottled water. So, anyway, um, you if you have a filter, you might be okay. Actually, I've talked about this before too, you all. A while ago, I don't remember which video. Ooh, buying a water filter then exactly. Maybe the bottled water now. Yeah, I would, I would be careful with bottled water. There could be a recall. Yeah, because the issue with the water just seemed to have disappeared as quick as it started. Right. So, yeah. Um, and then I hear mercury. So, there could be mercury maybe in the water or something like that. Um, I don't know. I feel like we're going to see a lot of galactic effects also happen on the Earth. Like, I've told you all how I think the aliens are able to, you know, change the atmosphere somehow to make it rain or thunderstorm or hail or change the weather. Like, we're going to start to see weird stuff like that, I think. Once the, the virus has kind of gone away. Because there's something about the virus going away that has made Earth a lot more calmer, I guess. And it's like there's a lot less smog in the air and the atmosphere, so it makes it easier for otherworldly energies to kind of pass through and do their thing. Or even maybe certain animals or certain, you know, creatures that, you know, usually don't kind of come up or don't, you know, come out of their hiding spots and become a part of the, uh, you know, what is it called again? the ecosystem, right, have started coming out and are actually participating in the ecosystem and it's changing the ecosystem to some form. Like, so I feel like we're going to start to see the effects of the ecosystem changing in the world. You know, like, and when I say that, I also mean, like, humans are at the top and, you know, this creature or this, you know, type of, you know, animal is that under the humans. And then after the this creature is this creature, it's like that's changed somehow. We're still at the top, I think, or are we? I'm not sure. Like, that's what I'm talking about. 
Makes sense because they don't know how long stuff lasts on surfaces, right? Pure PIR filters. I have a pure filter, yeah. I, that's what I use. I use a pure filter. Mercury fish contamination, exactly. Yes, it truly, it's true. That does feel like that. Yeah, being in the house has brought pollution down to help the planet, exactly. And then, like, because of that, now the planet can shift. I feel like it's also rel related to 5D. Something with 5D, too. Like, the planet is shifting to 5D or something like that. I talked about this a long time ago, actually, you guys. I did a reading. I don't remember what it was called, but I did a reading on, I think... It may have been Messages from Spirit or something like that. But I did this a long time ago. And I basically talked about how the Earth is shifting, and yeah... I wish I could find out the name of that video. Dang. You have to type in messages from Spirit Lamar Townsend Tarot. And then let me know. Hey, this is like, put in the comment. This is the video you were talking about in the virus timeline reading. Because you guys know, I'm just, you know. It being in the house is brought down pollute. Yeah, Berkeley filters are the best. Get one if you can. I've never seen Berkeley. I, got, I have a pure filter. I got it from Target. And I like it a lot. I do have to change the filter, like, you know, kind of frequently, but I drink a lot of water, use a lot of water. So, and they're kind of expensive, but whatever. They do, the water tastes so good. Like, I don't need bottled water with my pure filter. The vibration is raising exactly. That's basically what's happening. happening is the vibration is raising and then lower vibrations are being kind of taken out. Or the world is being purged, all right, of certain energies so that it can raise its vibration. That's what's happening on the grain scale, all right? But to us, it's chaos, it's the virus, it's, you know, all this and that. Do you think the planet will shift on 1221? What is happening on 1221 again? You guys always mention this. I don't, like... Is it the fact that it's 1221? I think that's what you guys are getting to. Roger Marie Mariano. Hi. Hi, QD Blue Jay. So that's what I see. So yeah, I feel like by 2025, the world will be back to the normal as we knew it before the virus. Yes, it's five years, you know, four years, whenever you're watching this video deal with it i don't know what to tell you to, to, you know to soften the blow i have to live it too you know so they say it's when the entire solar system will be in line okay winter solstice yeah it's just the winter solstice i mean will there be a shift i'm sure yeah so <clears throat> That's what I get. I feel like by <laughs> deal with it. Will the virus be safe to take? What do you mean? Will it be safe to take? You mean the vaccine? Um. I yeah. I feel like by next year, by twenty twenty one, things are gonna slowly start to like roll back around. So like things we had been waiting on, things that had maybe been put on hold, just in general, but also in your own life, are gonna start to roll back around and come back around and. You know, like maybe, you know, that job interview or that job that was on the line, but then it got, you know, the virus effed it up. You know, maybe they may come back around and say, you know, hey, I know we, you know, we're set to hire you, you know, pre-COVID, but, you know, we're back in the office now and we need people and we're looking at your resume and you seem like a good fit again. You know, can we do another interview? Like there's some going to be some stuff like that next year that's going to, you know, that the virus put on hold for you. All right. Even the virus is going to knock on your door and be like, hey, I know I effed up your money. I'm so sorry. But, you know, here are all those, uh, what are, what are they called? Quarantine checks that you didn't get. You know, like, what are, what, are, what, are, what, are, what were they called? The, the checks? I forgot. This, uh, the, um, 
stimulus checks. That's what they were called. Like something like that, you know, where it's like stuff is just going to kind of roll back around. Yeah, I feel like three to six months, it will seemingly get better exactly. That's what I see. So. But a lot of stuff also deals with, like, the government, you know. The government really went through it this year in 2020, you know, for the good and the bad, you know, but whatever. That's what I see. Um, so, yeah, just keep holding on tight, y'all. It's going to get better, you know. Um, we just got to keep keeping on, basically. Okay. I guess things will get better in 2021. B will be everyone's ear exactly. So, okay, you guys, I'm going to sign off. That's what I see for the virus from the timeline. If you would like a reading from me, check out my website, lamartownsintero.com. I am available for readings, and I would love to read for you, okay? I actually have a few readings to do now when I get off, so I'm going to go do those, eat some lunch, and do more work, all right? <laughs> What about when it comes to socializing, interacting with people like dating and family gatherings? It'll get better by probably 2022, late 2021. So I love you all. Remember to follow me on my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch at Lamar Townsend Tarot, my Vimeo. And um, see you in the next one.